Anglia Ramo Girls School, both underground water tank and uh, elevated water tank. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And this is part of the school's water supply. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Lafkiri, Madam, this will serve the people of uh, and the peoples of. Uh, Yes, of the girls here. Yeah. very much. And since the girls need a lot of uh, water, yes. I think this will go a long way in uh, ensuring that uh, they have uh, enough water in the schools. And this is unique in the sense that we have underground and at the same time elevated. I think this is unique and also a water point. Yeah. So I think in future, this is what we need to do in also all schools. So this could be, a re we can do a replica. So this could be a pilot project that now we have done in uh, Ramo Girls and in future we do in all schools so that we have this elevated and some uh, kiosks yeah. for the water. Sindio? Yes. Yeah, part two. Ah, very good. So, you're in Missouri? Yeah. And I think uh, this school is complete in terms of infrastructure. Once in a while, it's about uh, renovations. Uh, all, all, all your needs, I'm sure, is... We will give you our needs. No, yes. you will be given. So, I guess, I'm saying, Yanni, Romo Girls is one of the schools that at least has most of the infrastructure in place. Yeah. You are better off in than uh, most other uh, girls schools. Like in Tajaribu, we will do our level best to do the same. So if you want to say one or two concerning the project that has been done. Thank you so much, Moishimiwa Major Bashir. Uh, this is a great project for the girls of Ramo Girls. Uh, the problem of water shortage has been addressed in this school. Uh, we used to have few smaller underground tanks. And uh, this tank you see here, an elevated tank up there, uh, the water system will really help the girls in sanitation. We are really happy and we appreciate this project. Uh, thank you so much to Mandera North CDF. Bismillah, in the new underground tank, yeah, Ramo Aridizon Primary School. Na, I'm sure Vila Inakai me fanya Mardadi, so Tleo Tunafungo officially. Bismillah, Bismillah. Very good. Bas. I've got this is a good facility. And by what is the capacity? Six thousand meter cubic. Six thousand meter cubic. Okay, wonderful. So Malimu. Yes. So I've got this will serve the. It's of great beneficial. The uh, school, the, the school, school community. community. Yes, it's na, great it has an idea. Yes, and I can see uh, at least if this one is filled, yes, then it will serve for a good number of days. N number of days, in fact. Yes, and I can see the way it has been done. It is uh, uh, structurally sound. Mm -hmm. So this is what uh, it's already filled with water. With water. Yes. Past to Tangalia Pia. So young I congratulate also the, the those people who did it. Mana is up to standard and now is ready for use and is being used by the school as well. So, uh, committee of the CDF, chairman, his team, and the fund manager, Piano Ashkuru, for ensuring that standards are met in all the projects, including this one. So, Karibu. Thank you. Did you just say a word of thanks? Uh, uh, Honorable Member of Parliament, Mr. Hon Bashir, MCS with the MP. Uh, other official officers and uh, chiefs our uh, representing uh, sub county commissioner the elders with the uh, I welcome you I take this very opportunity to welcome you to this compound from our resort Ramo Nomadic uh, I take this opportunity on behalf of Ramo Arizon board of management and the larger community for having seed, I thank CDF for having given us such an extraordinary tank that has solved 
uh, our problem of water. I take this opportunity again to thank those who participated and those who helped us to acquire such a good tank. Shukuru Mweshimiwa, na team ya security, na all security members. Mimi ni chema wana GSS. Tunashukuru Mweshimiwa, ambaye ulitupea, ulitijigea tangi na macho. Alhamdulillah, tunashukuru. Uh, on behalf of the Gariza community, our Gariza Primary School, we are very appreciative for the renovation of the classes that you are seeing behind us. La Sema Sante, Vadu Tunamataradio, we are lacking our administration block. Uh, we are also in the middle of a village, farming village, where animals are giving us a big threat. Even teaching is becoming a problem because of trespass by animals being taken to the farm from the farm. Otherwise, Nasema, Asante, on behalf of the community. Thank you very much. Uh, four classrooms were uh, renovated this year. Then, then we also have an emergency six on the other side, mm, a, a total of almost ten. Ten, Asante, ni mshukuru. Appreciate it. Bas, nafikiri umepata ten classrooms renovated. And I can see it is to the standard. Na hata maji haita ingia because I can see the st that structure is, uh, is the slab is too high. Na hiyo ni mzuri. I know the request you have made and uh, you know the maitaji ni mingi sana. But however, we will consider you for an administration block in, in the financial year. Sawa. Uh, in this uh, financial year. Sawa. Bas, nafikiri hii ni tunafungua officially hii madarasa ambaye umetengenezwa na CDF. Uh, I'm sure issue is well established but it requires also additional infrastructure like this. So, and, and more of course. <laughs> also fancy. I, I think Mwalimu uh, atasema yake but leo acha tufungue officially na tuseme kwamba wanafunzi watumie na walimu bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya khair hiyo wanda malipo hapo na malipo hapo bas nafikiri hii official haa tumefungua na tumefurahi kwamba at least wanafunzi wako na discipline and especially the special choir ambaye ametupatia na ile shairi kukaribisho uh, it was very good and uh, very moving so jukumu ya la cdf ni kusaidia elimu and so that's what we are doing here today to ensure that infrastructure uh, is available in the schools it may not be enough because schools are too many in mandara north we have 54 primary schools and you can imagine the amount of money allocated to CDF for development projects. Very limited. Nevertheless, we maximize the little resources that we have. That's why at least today you have these kind of structures. We have built even other structures here before. Uh, and we continue building. Thank you. But we need to persevere so that you remember other schools also need the same. So, Karib. Uh, thank you, Mushima. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the work you have done here. Uh, these two classrooms were very much uh, needed. 
Uh, this school is one of the schools that uh, the most enrolled school in Mandera North Sub County is Alidea Integrated Center. Uh, above all, uh, the senior second school is also the most enrolled. We have grade 8 of 128 kids and we have grade 7 of 118 kids. That number requires classrooms and we appreciate your effort, we see it, we have felt it. Uh, we are actually very, very grateful. Uh, the population of this school is so high, it's almost 1,030 kids now, uh, 1,030 kids as we speak. And uh, we even expect more because the school was just opened and some more are reporting. Uh, our uh, need is unlimited and resources we have is limited. But still we request for more uh, uh, desks. There's a problem of desks. Around 250 kids are sitting on the ground. Uh, kids in also pre-primary. BB1 and BB2 are sitting on the ground. They are using maths. We appreciate your effort. We appreciate your effort. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, we are with you. We thank you. We are praying for you 24-7. Thank you so much. And you know, for, for schools, Uko National Government has among water for schools. Yes. Na mimi na tuka mandaro na piyato na sema water for schools. So we put structures also. Then we also don't forget that uh, the land institutions have water. You know, in my first uh, first first term of uh, parliament, I said that my main priority is water in the constituents. Alhamdulillah, that in my first term I've achieved 98 percent of water across the constituents, and that also includes um, uh, water in all the learning institutions. And so, where there is school, then there's also water. That's what we've been doing all along. So this year, Pia has from Malaysia, you only that two percent, and uh, we will do uh, in future. We'll do a, a model that uh, Ramo Girls has done, where they have a water tank and an elevated uh, underground tank and elevated tank and a tap station, yeah. which I actually liked it. So I will want it replicated now in all the schools in the near future. So otherwise, it's a good structure. Nashukuru yes. Pia Committee, uh, CDF, uh, led by the chairman uh, and secretary at Timiake, Pamoja and a fund manager, for ensuring that at least uh, resources have been availed yes. and the structure is done to the standard. Mm -hmm. So, Yango Nukusama here, Kamoko Najambo. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Thank you, Mwishimiwa. And uh, we thank you so much because you have never forgotten this school. This is a mother school. So many politicians, so many prominent people passed this school. But I'm, I'm happy to say that since uh, you came, you are better than the former MPs. You have taken care of this school. But this school, I want you to make it a model school, just like a rubber model school. This school is a mother school that has been forgetting for long. Now, thank you for this tank, and we really appreciate 